hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is funny lungu if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome back i uh, thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best please keep motivating us by giving us stuff to um react to please feel free don't be restricted by anything just suggest something for us to react to down below and we'll actually react to it if you're too shy you can actually go to our instagram or facebook dm and let us know from there what you want us to react to uh we're funny and jesse on instagram and facebook you can check out our second youtube channel funny and jesse 2.0 uh subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out there uh it's quite hot today it's very hot in fact it's been hot for the last uh two months three now few months now and it's very very hard to do something so today so today i'm going to be reacting to andre tet brutally reality checks western women I'm down to see what this video is about. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. You carry a child for nine months. If you're not gonna, like it's sorry, risk. my headphones got off. If you're not, if you're not gonna have, <laughs> if you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? God, if I'm not gonna have children, um, travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy. Um, try to make money. I love traveling, so I would probably just drink co drink cocktails on a beach. Okay, next. <laughs> about the same thing like travel focus on my career things like that like my career will become my baby what about uh what about you um i honestly just want to get right into my career okay that's pretty much it what do you want to do in life um right now so i go to the university of miami i'm majoring in interactive media what i want to do with that is uh build virtual reality simulators for the military and then i'm also minoring in motion pictures i'm interested in acting and shit like that yeah, Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Would well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just my career. Your career. I'm okay. passionate about it. So a life without children is is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and not give That's us right. a, don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren. In a house by yourself, and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself. Do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children because there was my father and, and eight more. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there and I looked at my 93 year old grandmother, and there was a room, a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Isn't that remarkable yeah, that is. nobody cared about her career? Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to the club. Nobody asked if she had time to go to festivals. No, you had 70 sentient beings, including myself, full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, 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 a, good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not going to be suicidal alone with a cat then you're dumb. <laughs> the that, happiest really women on this. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the really happiest true. people on earth. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own Come bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by <laughs> saber-toothed fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. Uh, I would actually love to watch the full podcast of this or whatever this was um <clears throat> i'm actually agreeing with the man i agree with andre tate and the point that he brought up 
that's it's not only western women that are now thinking this like i have to focus on my career i have to focus on this um many africans think that too i don't even know where to start from i don't know why someone wouldn't want to have children children are the most uh beautiful beings out there troublesome but still beautiful and i mean i mean people have their own reasons people have various reasons but to say that you don't want to have children because mm, i don't know i wonder how old these ladies are i really wonder also sometimes let me support the women now also sometimes i feel like when you find the right man that's actually willing to date uh not for fun but with an intention of marrying you and you're also in the same headspace i feel like they can change your mind you know they don't even have to change your mind you're automatically going to want that you shouldn't have to force your partner to say i want children or i want marriage or i want to settle down first of all um it should come naturally of course for that to happen also in a relationship you have to talk about these things otherwise we've seen many instances of where someone from the word go will say i don't want marriage someone from the word go will say i don't want children and if you agree to that then you're trapping yourself because you'll never be happy because those people won't change their mind for you or anything you should know that so um marry someone that's going to want what you want not someone you're going to have to convince that having children is important or settling down is important you have to remember that always and ladies let's not deny ourselves the opportunity to meet someone because once you start saying i don't want this i just want to have fun i just you can have fun with your partner and your children you don't have to limit yourself because you feel like you don't need a man because you feel like um you're too good for a man or i i don't know i i, I really don't understand anyone that ever says um i don't want children or i don't want to settle down i really don't so i disagree with what the lady said and i'm 100 percent with andrew Tet. continue your blood line there is nothing that you lose from having children well it depends on how you look at it because some women are crazy out there they'll give all these pointers you can still work with a child that's why now there's living maids now you don't even have to have a maid nowadays or no nowadays it's actually essential but back in the days families hoped to raise that um your children that's why they say it takes a village to raise a child there's always going to be someone who's going to help you while you pursue your career otherwise some of us are comfortable being home having children and just loving and living life with those children you know um let me know what you guys think this was actually funnier than the other clip that i reacted to loved this loved everything about this what are your thoughts what do you think about having children or even just settling down in general um your comments are always welcome your opinion is very much welcome as well if you differ with my opinion or you differ with andrew tate you agree with these ladies comment down below let's get the conversation started otherwise if there's something like this you want me to react to drop the link down below if something else you want still drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video